Thanks for tuning in Brewtubers. Welcome to Home Beer Brewery's channel. In this video I'm going to explain what I'm going to do with this batch of uh, beer that I brewed on my previous Homebrew Wednesday video. I told in that video that I'm not going to use the standard dry yeast, acetate of dry yeast. This recipe calls for a Seville USO5. Here in the background I'm fermenting an IPA that I brewed uh, about a week ago. Yeah, seven days ago. And I need to dump the yeast out of this chronicle. My idea guys is just dump the yeast and all the bad stuff that is in this conical part over here and in the elbow directly into this patch of uh, beer that I brewed today. I told you I not, um, did this before, it's going to be an experiment, maybe the whole batch is going to be ruined, but we will see. I already sanitized a hose barb with a flange on it. It fits my butterfly valve, which is already on the chronicle. And I sanitized a silicon seal that fits the flange between the flange and the butterfly valve. It only remains sanitizing the butterfly valve and I will show you in a close-up. It's pretty easy, you just spray some stars in it and we're going to attach the hose bar on it. And then directly dump the yeast in this, uh, in this board. Let's give it a try. <laughs> well, sanitizing the butterfly valve is pretty easy. Awesome parts. I guess this is, uh, this is it. Just spray it with some stars in it. Here I have silicon seal and the hose bar with the flange on it. Let's put it on there. Attaching a clamp. Sometimes a bit of a struggle, but it goes pretty easy this time. Here we go. Before I'm going to dump the yeast, I'm going to sanitize the rubber bone on top of the chronicle and I'm going to remove the airlock like this. I aerated the wart very well. Give the shake one more time. Removing the lid of the spindle fermenter. Store it in my uh, star sand solution. Let's go. Well, this is not going to work, yes? How are we going to do this? By this way, I will uh, make a huge mesh. So I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to do it differently this time. I'm going to sanitize a glass jar. I'm going to put the yeast in the jar first. The jar is uh, sanitized right now. I temporarily covered the spider fermenter again and now I'm going to dump the yeast and harvest it right out of the chronicle. Let's open the valve. It's coming, I can hear it. Here we go. going to close it. This should be enough yeast to uh, start this batch of beer. I opened the dishwasher so uh, it will leak a little bit but it goes directly into the dishwasher so no problem. This is the yeast guys. Smells like uh, healthy yeast. Let's dump it into this uh, fermenter. Here we go. Oh, 
closing the fermenter and it should be fermenting in a couple of hours. I pulled an additional jar of yeast out of the chronicle but the beer is coming out right now so it's uh, the job is completed. It goes to the secondary stage of fermentation. I go to um, to move the chronicle in about uh, three days in a colder place. It only remains to uh, clean the butterfly pole. Again, it goes pretty easy. I'm just spraying some uh, starsand solution in it. And we are finished. I'm well aware that you normally have to wash the yeast and I, there are several videos, tons of videos out there on YouTube how to wash the yeast. But as I told you earlier this is an experiment and I like to see what happens now taste wise and how quickly this batch is going to ferment. There's no difference between the temperature this one is 19.1 degrees so 19 degrees this one is uh, between 18 and 20, so I guess the yeast is uh, still healthy and uh, hope they become happy yeasties. Let's see how this uh, experiment turns out. Cheers guys, thanks for watching all and uh, speak to you soon, bye bye. I guess you won't believe this guys, this is the airlock activity 3 hours after pitching the yeast. Already 30 minutes after pitching the yeast I saw activity and also foam on top of the wort 